we would solve the problem 1.259 erodo and uh, in this problem the arrangement is such that there is a coaxial cylinder uh, this is the three dimensional diagram and it is supporting a mass small mass m the mass of this arrangement is capital m and moment of inertia is i this is connected by two strings and the strings are encircling the cylinder at the radius r at the radius twice r this string connects is supporting the mass m we have to find the absolute the acceleration of mass m now to solve this problem let us simplify and break it into sub problems this is the cylinder coaxial arrangement and i am making the side view this tension will be twice t1 i am taking only one t1 plus t1 so total tension of the strings twice t1 this will be t2 and this is the mass m this whole mass is capital m let us look at this frame let us consider the movement of this frame first this frame will move with respect to the fixed point where the string is connected let the center of mass move with the acceleration a the acceleration a of the center of mass of the cylinder will also be the downward acceleration of this frame this frame is moving down with the acceleration a which is the acceleration of the center of mass why because if you look at this arrangement if you look at this arrangement at this point if it is moving with acceleration a it is rotating with angular acceleration alpha this will be r alpha at this point the acceleration would be r alpha r alpha and this is moving with the same acceleration as the center of mass is moving downwards so this whole frame is moving with acceleration a this is the first important point which we need to note because we would be using then the concept of pseudo force now let us first write the equation of motion for the frame that is the cylinder which we have taken let us write the equation of motion now a is the downward acceleration of the center of mass for that capital m a would be equal to what are the downward forces mg twice t2 in these such problems when we take the translational motion all the forces which are acting on the body are to be taken as if they are acting on the center of mass so t2 twice t1 we are considering them as acting on the center of mass so ma is equal to mg plus t2 minus twice t1 because it is opposing the motion let us write the equation for the torque this is acting on the center of mass mg now when we take the angular acceleration or angular velocity part we have to take the forces at the point at which they are acting so twice t1 will act at r and t2 is acting at twice r this is twice r and this is r so the total torque both are giving torque and leading to angular acceleration in clockwise direction both torques will add so twice t1 r 
प्लस ट्वाइस आर टी टू इज इक्वल टू आई एल्फा सिंपल नाउ वी नो एल आर एल्फा इज इक्वल टू ए सो वी कैन रिप्लेस द वैल्यूज हेयर एंड लेट एस टेक आर दैट साइड एंड लेट एस राइट इट लाइक दिस आई एल्फा अपॉन आर एंड एल्फा वी कैन रिप्लेस एज ए अपॉन आर सो आई ए अपॉन आर स्क्वायर वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस टी वन प्लस ट्वाइस टी टू इन सच इक्वेशन ट्राई टू गेट द equation of motion for the angular uh, movement part and also the linear movement part and then get an equation by which you can at least eliminate one variable so we will add these two equations so t1 gets eliminated so when we add this it becomes m plus i upon r square into a is equal to mg plus 3t2 mg plus 3t2 because twice t1 is getting cancelled now this equation will be using it when we solve it further now come to this mass when we consider this mass we have to take the frame of reference as this now this whole frame of reference is moving down when frame of reference is moving and we have an object in the frame of reference we have to always apply a pseudo force if frame of reference is moving moving down with acceleration a as i said earlier so it will have a pseudo force ma acting upwards this is the pseudo force on this mass acting upwards so if we write the equation for this mass we can write m a dash a dash is the acceleration of mass m in this frame not the absolute acceleration it is the acceleration in this frame only so a dash is the acceleration in this frame m a dash is equal to what are the downward forces mg no other downward force what is the upward force upward force is minus it will be minus because it is against the direction of acceleration which we have taken we have taken its acceleration a dash downwards in this frame so m a dash is equal to mg minus t2 and also minus the pseudo force is minus m now again we have to let us take this point this mass is moving in this frame with a dash and this frame is basically nothing but the center of mass of this cylinder so this mass is moving with a dash acceleration with respect to this center of mass now it has a rotational acceleration which is same whether you take this object or you take this object the alpha remains the same now what is the acceleration of this point it will be same this thread is having a fixed length it will not vary so whatever is the acceleration at this point will be the acceleration of this point in the reference frame so acceleration of this point with in reference to the center of mass will be a dash here is equal to a dash is same as this a dash because the string is having fixed length this length is not changing so with whatever acceleration this is moving this point the thread is also moving with a dash acceleration so what will be a dash will be equal to twice r alpha and r alpha was a as we had taken earlier r alpha as we had solved earlier it is a so a dash is equal to twice a put this relationship here it becomes if you bring it on this side 
and replace the value of a dash it becomes 3 ma is equal to mg minus t2 multiply this by 3 multiply this by 3 so that you can use these two equations then let us multiply by 3 this becomes 9 this becomes 3 this becomes 3 t2 and this is small m this is capital M now let us add these two equations when we add these two equations it comes to a we can take common 9 m plus capital M plus I upon R square is equal to mg plus small mg times 3. So this is the acceleration of the, this is A. A we had taken as the acceleration of the center of mass. What is the acceleration of, of mass M? In this frame of reference, it is twice A. And what is the acceleration of mass M with respect to this point? Because we A dash we had taken in this frame. So it becomes A dash plus, plus A. A is the acceleration of the frame itself. A dash is the acceleration of this mass. So total acceleration is A dash plus A, which is nothing but 3 times A. 3 times A. So, we have got the relationship here, A is equal to mg plus 3 mg upon 9 m plus capital M plus i upon r square. This is A. And what do we need? We need 3 times A, this acceleration, the net acceleration will be A net is equal to 3A multiplied by 3 and then this is the answer to the problem. So while solving these problems, it's always better you take a reference frame and whenever you take a reference frame and if that reference frame is itself moving with an acceleration A or any whatever is the nomenclature, you have to always apply a pseudo force on the object which is in that frame of reference and the pseudo force will always be in the direction opposite to the direction of the acceleration of the frame of reference. So this is how we should be solving these problems. Thank you.